Officers who went and inspected those sites said it was not the regime that used it. It was, and this is United Nations inspector. She said, not on this time, but the one before. She said that it was the opposition that used it. But it was on very small scale. But with this one, you know, the United Nations inspectors went in there after the attack. But they only confirmed that chemical weapons were used. They did not confirm. They were not even, their mandate was not go find out who actually fired the shots. That was not in their mandate. Their mandate is go see, number one, they were going in there to inspect chemical weapons and see if chemical weapons were used in other sites. Remember, there were many massacres before. So the, arm, the, the, the regime, with confidence, they said, bring them. And on the day they arrived, that's when the chemical weapons attack took place. Now, do you think, and not far from where the inspectors were, it's not like in a remote area in Syria, no, in Damascus itself. So you think the regime is that stupid, is that crazy? that will use chemical weapons, knowing that these inspectors are coming when things are still fresh? That's number one. Oh, actually, that was number two. Number three, if the regime wants to use chemical weapons, he would at least use them to get a battlefield advantage. He will use them to kill soldiers from the other side. If the regime got so desperate, and the regime was not desperate in that area, that is Damascus. The regime is very strong in Damascus. Very strong. So it was not like a desperate moment for the regime that they had to use chemical weapons. No. So why did, well actually to finish that thought, those who died, there were babies and their mothers and men sleeping at two o'clock in the morning. They were not fighters. So there's no strategic advantage. You know, many of these pictures, you've seen many, many children, but no parents. And by the way, in many, you've got to be very careful when you see pictures, when you see um, uh, when you see videos, be very careful. Don't 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 just take what you're seeing at face value. You know, like I say, believe one tenth of what you hear and half of what you see. Don't just see all poor things because in a video that was supposedly shot on August 21st when these people were dead, in one of the videos, the guy gets up and starts laughing. But were all the videos like that? Of course not. So just be very careful when uh, you, you're watching uh, videos and you're seeing videos. And did you really see videos for 1,400 dead that day? Because all of the estimates, the real estimates from that day is about 380 to 400. It was not 1,300 or 1,400 as they were claiming. But it doesn't matter even if it's 50. It doesn't matter. 
But now you do understand why the regime could not have fired those. Because the regime has better bombs, better shells. Those were old Russian shells that they had got back in the 70s, that they're not using them. But they're stockpiling them somewhere in a, uh, a depot that the Syrian army, the, 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 the Free Syrian army, actually captured and used. So the West was under no position to strike at Syria. So how do we stop the war? How do we go back and say, okay, we're not bombing, but we can't tell you why we're not bombing. Because everybody was saying that, oh, well, you know, uh, they were scared of like the Russians actually getting into the war. No. Russia would not get into the war, into war with the United States. Bombing and bullets and missiles, they're not going to do that. And when the United States was going to bomb Syria, Russia did not say, if you bomb them, hey, look, we're going to bomb. No. Russia and the United States will not go to war over Syria. No. Because both will lose a lot. And everybody was saying, oh, because Syria actually threatened that they were going to bomb Israel. No. Israel wants to bomb the heck out of Syria. Israel has nuclear weapons. Israel has nuclear weapons. So if Syria throws some missiles with chemical weapons, killing 10, 15,000, 20,000 Israelis, okay? I mean, that's a lot. But let's say they did it. Chemical weapons will not destroy a country. It will kill a lot of people. But within hours, it's going to be gone. Israel, on the other hand, had nuclear bombs. And if Syria used chemical weapons, they were going to use those, those nuclear bombs. And it will take out Damascus completely. I mean, it's not like it wasn't used before. I mean, the United States had used nuclear bombs in, 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 uh, in Japan. In Hiroshima and Nagasaki back in 1945, I believe. So they've used them. And if the Israelis get bombed with chemical weapons, they're going to use nuclear so that wasn't it, and the Syrians knew it. And the Syrians were actually bracing, and they were moving all these armies and moving everything out of their military installations into the neighborhoods, getting ready to be bombed. They were ready to be bombed. And at the last moment, when the Russians said, look, we got the proof, and Obama started talking about going to Congress. And Netanyahu was flipping out of his mind. So he flew. Even his country, you know, they were distributing these gas masks because, hey, look, tonight was going to be the night. I mean, why would Netanyahu, knowing that tonight was going to be the night, that he would fly? Well, because he got the message from Obama we're not bombing. We got a problem. You know, Houston, we got a problem. So he flew right away to Moscow, Netanyahu, met with Putin, showed him the proof that it was not the regime that did it. That it was the oppositions that did it. And this is the proof. So Netanyahu goes back, and now they're back to the drawing board. Now do you understand why the war had to be stopped? It's not because of Congress or the British Parliament, no. Because we had no choice but to kill the oppositions, bomb the opposition there, 
to help the regime. We weren't going to do that. So they said, okay, how do we get out of this? So they started talking about, okay, we need something big. We need something big for the United States to actually accept. And that something big is Syria turning your chemical weapons. Now, Syria is going to turn in some, probably bleach and, you know, uh, whatever. But, and we're talking about like the mid of 2014, when they have to actually get, 2014, that's like, that's like another year. That's like another year. So, anyway, that's all we have for you. And all we have to say is good night. We'll see you a month from now. That's it? Just stop it.